Hello guys, welcome back to my channel to Heaven's Tutorial and today we are going to start up with the second part of the reflection chapter. This part is quite small. So basically we are going to study about how many image or images are formed in two inclined planes or when a pair of mirrors are placed parallel to each other. Let's start without wasting any time. First thing that how many images are formed in two inclined planes? By inclined planes, we mean this. The picture as you can see. So here's written the number of images formed depends on the angle theta between the two mirrors. So basically theta, like for example, in maths problems, we you we write, uh, suppo let it be x. Similarly, for angles, we write angle theta. Angle theta is like we are supposing it. The value is not known to us. So there are few cases. First case is if angle theta between the mirrors is such that n is equal to 360 degree upon theta is odd. This picture will help you to understand why we are studying this. Why the number of images that depends on the angle. Basically there are two cases. First case is when the number of images that is odd number which is not divisible by 2. So, if the object is placed asymmetrical between the mirrors, matlab, if this is the difference between symmetric and asymmetric. Symmetric, equal halves, asymmetric, unequal halves. So, if the image is asymmetrically placed, then the number of images, that will be n. You, will ca you have to calculate that. But, when the object is placed symmetrical, then the number of images you will calculate that will be n minus 1. Example like this, the value of theta is taken 72. We will calculate. The answer comes 5, which is a odd number. And the object is placed asymmetrical, means n minus 1. So image will be formed 4. But if the object is placed symmetrical, then it the number of images that will that will be formed that will be 5. Second case is if the uh, number of images formed is even then you will just do number of images that will always be 9 minus 1 no matter what it is placed symmetrically or asymmetrically it will be 9 n minus 1 example is given simply you have understood this topic next topic is images formed in parallel to each other A pair of mirror is placed parallel to each other exactly like this in this picture so the images form will be infinite as you can see that's it that's all you need to know so it's it's obviously it's different infinite mixtures images form karegi next is images formed by two mirrors placed perpendicular to each other in this the theta value is taken 90 degrees so the two mirrors are kept at 90 degrees so the image form will be 4 and number of images formed will be n minus 1 that will be 3 images will be formed the last topic is uses of plane mirrors first as a looking glass second thing in the barber shops for seeing the hair at the back of the head and in periscope the mirrors they are placed they are inclined at 45 degrees the periscope, kaleidoscope, three mirrors are inclined with each other at 60 degree. And in solar heating devices. So basically you have to learn these points. And here the tap, this part ends. The third part is about the spherical mirrors. About the erect images. Hopefully you understood it easily. And try the questions and the best of luck for exams if they are going on because mine is going on pre boards quite hectic schedule so uh, if you like the video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel which is heaven's tutorial inshallah i will see you soon thank you so much